and we can see all of the questions and answers got broken down six pages worth of questions and answers from this page here all right so i want to start it start it back i'm gonna run that thing back one time so this is, this is so good guys so we're on top golf this is the website here that i wanted to get the faq from here is their faq bam we see all of their questions here we wanted to use a knowledge base with our chatbots to have essentially a um, instant FAQ perfect bot. All right, so <clears throat> what we need to do is connect your dialogue flow agent. It's free to make, very easy to create an account really fast, uh, dialogue flow. You create your agent and you connect it to your bot in the settings. Settings, integrations, connect, done. Right, so the next thing you want to do is find your data source. So in this case, I'm just going to use this URL. Here's the URL for the FAQ. Here's all their questions. Okay, so the live URL. Go ahead and create a knowledge base, and I'll call it Top Golf. All right, so then I'm going to create the document itself. We've got several different options. In this case, um, I'll call it Top Golf. The knowledge type is going to be FAQ. Again, this is going to be an exact match versus an extractive question and answering, more of like an open AI here. This is going to be straight up FAQ um, that you provide it. We're going to give it HTML and a URL, which is on my clipboard that I just pasted there. So there you are right there. Um, we are going to go ahead and enable the automatic reload. So if I'm top golf and I go ahead and update my FAQ tomorrow or next week or next month. I don't have to do anything with my chatbot additionally because it's reading that data and Google's going to check it once per day. So again, the benefit of using dialogue flow in this way versus open AI's embeddings is before they've done anything on um, the open AI embedding semantic search side of things we've already completed our whole process here before before they've done anything in their process aside from you know compile some documents maybe we're already done remember you can also use a csv file or a pdf you can just straight upload those documents and um do the exact same thing however you don't get the benefit of having that live in sync benefit i guess you'd say so again, let's check this, view the detail, and we can see all of the questions and answers got broken down six pages worth of questions and answers from this page here, all right? So we can actually test this right now. Uh, let's go ahead and hit save and go to knowledge base. So the knowledge base is enabled, good. We can, we can test it, and I'm going to show you guys what it's going to look like. It'll, it'll feel like if you try this, it's not working, um, and I'm going to show you, show you why. So in this case, how much does it cost? Let's ask it that. How much does Top Golf cost? All right, so this is what will freak you out. It says here that there's no response available, but you can see that it did catch... Well, the intent was from the knowledge base. So if you go to diagnostic info, you'll be able to see how much does it cost right here. And then boom, prices depend on your venue, blah, 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 which is exactly the correct answer. But it doesn't show up in your chatbot unless you go in to your knowledge base and click here for your responses. You'll click add a response and bam. It does it for you, knowledge bait or knowledge answer right here. So now we can ask the same question. How much does it cost? Oh, we must hit save. How much does it cost? Bam. Prices depend on your venue. Please refer to your venues page at topgolf.com slash locations. Okay, so we can go to my website, my agency website, and let's go to the contact page. Okay, so I've got a little FAQ there, right? And let's see, this will be a really fast one to add. 
So we are going to go back to dialog flow. Let's go back to knowledge base. And we're just going to add in a new knowledge base. We'll call this Baggett's Bots and hit save. So we're working off two knowledge bases now. Let's create the document. And this time again, I'll just call it BB. It's going to be an FAQ because again, it's already set up with a question and an answer. We're using HTML because it's going to come from a URL. Paste the URL, enable automatic reload. So in case I, I stop being lazy and decide to one day update that, that FAQ I made when I originally launched that website, when I update that, my chatbot will also be updated. So this should only take another five, six more seconds or one more second and we're done. We can view the details now and boom, we see all of my questions and answers, which there are not that many, right? And it read them perfectly. So do you have any open positions? It's going to say, check the careers page, right? So you guys see all that. Now that we can test that, let's just go ahead and hit save. And remember, this is the thing that um, I was forgetting for a minute there. What you need to do is when you click on your new knowledge base, if you leave this blank, it will not work. You must click add response. So again, it will provide that first best matched answer for you um, without you having to do anything at all. So let's go ahead and test it. Let's ask a question. What question should we ask? Do you have any, um, okay, do you offer a free trial? We must hit save. Boom. Now let's try it. Can I get a free trial? Boom, boom. There it is. There it is. No, we do not. And we can verify that's exactly what my little deal says. No, we do not. What's the refund policy? Do you give refunds for baggage spots? Boom. Our goal is 100% satisfaction guaranteed. It's working perfectly. Let's go back to Top Golf. Let's say, um, can I bring my child to Top Golf? Don't let this confuse you. I'm, I'm using two brands in one example and one bot. This is not typical. I'm just showing you. It's just working. Can I bring my child to Top Golf? Top Golf invites everyone to come out and play, and we pride ourselves on creating a safe, fun, and welcoming place for all. Okay, smoking policy. Let's ask that question. That'll be our last one. What's your What's your smoking policy? What is your um, smoking policy? I just want to see what the answer will be. We don't allow smoking or vaping. Okay. So we can go back here. I'll show you this really quick one more time. And we can see um, the questions here. So here is my knowledge base for Baggett's bots. And we can go back and look at Top Golf's. And we can see those details. Okay. So if we see that something is very important and for whatever reason, dialogue flow isn't doing what you want it to do, you can force it. You can tell a dialog flow what to do. So in this case, um, let's look at what's the dress code. Say that I wanted to provide um, a different answer here without changing my knowledge base. What I could do is I could hit the checkbox here and we can convert it to an intent. All right, this convert question and answer pairs to intents. Are you sure you want to do this? After the conversion, these will automatically be disabled. Okay, so they're disabling that because whatever customization you provide will override whatever originally was here. So we'll hit convert just so you can kind of see what that does. I think that should be good. Yep, so we see that it's, it's disabled and we go over to our intents and we can see that it, it actually created that for us. So now when someone says, is there a dress code? We can have this text response 
be what is provided, or we can have um, a different response. Maybe we want to have um, a flow sent. So all we would need to be writing here is flow, and then whatever the flow ID is, for example, and that would send. Um, guys, I think that's it. You can add more questions here. Can I wear a hat? You know, um, and it's going to trigger either the payload here or the text response. Basically, anything that is going to be similar to can I wear a hat will now be handled by dialog flow to do what you want it to do. Whether it is provide this exact answer or a customization, or if you just want to let it run totally off your um, website FAQs, you can do that with zero effort and super fast. It doesn't get easier than that. If you guys have any questions, definitely let us know. Y'all have a good day. Peace.